What's up, YouTube? It's Fitch, and you work. It's Tony Lee. Now we're back with our next video. So, in today's video, by the way, yeah, I know I like to see my face now. But anyhow, guys, besides the point, all of the, equip the equipment upgrade, the lifestyle, the lifestyle ends, the lifestyle still out shit. Let's go, we go do it. Nada, da, nada, da, nada. But anyhow, today's video, we just gonna be reacting to, I think it's seven, seven niggas trying to act gay. Some shit, so. Yeah. Anyhow, let's get straight into it. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Off the bat, he gay. Off, off the bat. I don't know. What the fuck is that by my window? I don't know. Off the bat? It's either between these two. Because why are you wearing a hat? Hat, glasses, or everybody ass it is. And where's even that top? Like, my sister wouldn't even wear that. When did everyone realize they were gay? <laughs> Um, probably, like, end of high school, after my first relationship, uh, it was a girl, and it was just not for me. Um, I think for me, it was in middle school. It was, like, before puberty. It's him. It had to be, watch the stance. Like, wh where's this? Like, where's, that's his shoes. It had to, and watch he. Nah, he definitely gay, watch. Boom, boom. It not even matching, bro. It not matching. You read. So I was just kind of figuring things out for myself and also other kids were understanding too. So that really helped me to find myself and I would talk about it. 15. Oh. So I know exactly when it was. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in a very religious home and I. My name is Lucifer. Like, like is he? Talk about it. In a very religious home and I too was in relationships with, with girls. So um, what I did was I, I hid. I hid myself for a long time, so it's, I'm trying not to tear up. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't until the pandemic <laughs> when I came out to my little brother. I actually knew when I was eight. Um, my grandma took him to see. Cap, your name is Matt and your cap. You know, mine honestly is right after Twilight came out. <laughs> like Robert Pattinson, I don't know. So Yo, who's uh, team, so who's good. team? So good. Of course, of course, um, Pattinson for sure. Um, Edward. I knew in middle school, like, there was something up with me. I was like, I like men. That's 100%. But I called myself bisexual. And then freshman year in high school, I was just like, I'm gay. Like, the way I feel about women. Is you know what? I take back everything I say. Everybody here like mine. I already revealed mine, but what is everyone's favorite celebrity crush? Mine is also a vampire. It's Paul Wesley from okay. Vampire Diaries. He okay. was like my... You know what? Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. I can't... I can't. I can't even agree. I can't even disagree with that fan of that. I might tell the girls too. Awakening, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, mine was Robert Pattinson, so we Yeah, we got to disagree with that. Prince and Idris Elba. Never mind. He gay. He's a gay. He had to be. He had to be the one. He's the leader. I'm not that bad. Mine was mine right now. I think is is Pedro Pascal. You're on the Pedro Pascal He's, train. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. I'm your daddy. Matt Bomber, uh, from White Collar. Love like the yeah. snake eyes are so sexy. <laughs> like, that's it. What do you guys hate about straight men? Their inability to like take criticism oh or take God, no as yes. an answer. Yeah. Like, what is up with that? Like, I understand patriarch and all that, but still. I know, like consent. Literally. Um, their inability to have any sort of fashion. It's just <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> just yeah. about to and say that. Fuck the fuck are y'all talking? What y'all talking about, bro? T-shirts, jeans, or like just basketball shorts. You know, you know, you see those men who clearly use like the three-in-one shampoos, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, how? They brush their teeth with it. Yeah, they like, <laughs> swear. Oh my god, this They're one really... guy had a ten-in-one. I did not even no want to way. ask what it meant. Lucifer, I just wanted to ask you. Um, so you said at and three-in-one be back. You know what? Let's be smelling good though. Fifteen is when you knew, right? That that you were gay. Yes, that's when I came to terms with it for myself. And then you said, I co like, during COVID was when you told your brother? Yes. So that whole time you didn't know? No. Really? How did that feel for you? Because were you guys close, or...? We were, but I moved from Memphis when I was 18. Okay. We've been long distance for all that time. I see. He really didn't make a big deal out of it. Just told me that he loved me, no matter what. I see. Well, I can, can I ask why did you not come out to him earlier if you guys felt so comfortable together with that? Or yes. supportive? Yes, so for me, when I was growing up, 
The thing that mattered most was getting married and having a family. I had to keep that facade a long time. I was actually practicing to be a minister in 2012, oh, wow. right when uh, President Obama uh, declared gay marriage uh, legalized nationwide. And when I was in... I want to hear more. Hey, have you spotted the mole yet? Well, hang tight because we're going to get there. Until then, subscribe to our channel. And now let's get back to the video. Plotus, he's the gay one. That that tank top that he's wearing is is really tacky. Sorry, just the jeans and the shirt. Good luck, guys. It, it kind of hurted a little bit. Kind of hurted. Why do you think they were suspicious of you? Um, mainly because I'm wearing just jeans and a t-shirt, but I look stylish and I look amazing. So. Um, Lucifer, I remember you were mentioning that like gay marriage was being legalized in 2012, but it was 2015, right? 2013. Yeah, that's 2013. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. So like, yeah. So everybody just taken, man. I don't know why it was legal. And all right, cool. When that announcement was made, he was running in 2012. So yeah, he right. would have. Right. So 15, 16. I'm bad at math. I'm terrible. Well, it, it, it took it took a while for it to actually go into legislation. Gotcha. So you can't say 2012, but if you're Technically, yes, it, it did take a, okay, okay. A, a few years into that second term before it was actually registered. What are some things you look for in a guy? Oh, creativity, um, style, and confidence. The number one would be hygiene. Yes. I bathe at least twice a day, if you know, if not more. In a drought. So, <sighs> not <in hygiene. laughs> baby, please look. You know, I gotta freshen up. So I expect yeah, yeah, that yeah. from someone else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, my boyfriend, every time I, or my ex-boyfriend. Oh, no. Yeah, every time I'd come in, like, the room was just super messy. And, like, I'm... He's a gay one. Yeah. Even if he's not a gay one, he just admitted to being gay by accident. Even if he's not a gay one, like, you know? Really big on bathroom cleanliness. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's the last place you are at night and the first place you are in the exactly. morning. And most traditional men are just, um dirty in the bathrooms right <laughs> mine is basically somebody that can just hang and vibe with you i'm a very active person whether that be like i'm going out hiking i go out mm. working out height doesn't really matter i mean haven't put your damn hands down we know we know you is not a gay one put your damn hands down stop lying i love those by the way oh thanks yeah, they're, they're brand cool. new they're dog me too me too <laughs> look at I love ducks. These are the brand new model. They have little. Yeah, hooks. I know. I saw those. Oh, I saw so those. Cool. Did you miss the memo that we were supposed to wear boots there? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I did. You know, I do prefer men that are shorter than me, um, a little more on the submissive <laughs> side. We're out. Um, I hate the bottom. I'm just being I'm just being honest. I guess because I was in such a controlled environment for so mm. many years, I just have a way of controlling that space okay. mm. can we run down and say what we are like you already answered yes why do you fuck a question popping up any corner here about top or bottom he's definitely a bottom ricky is a bottom for sure did you see what this man was wearing had the midriff and all yeah it just takes the right person for me yeah i agree i think it's very dependent but honestly like the verse comes in more so when it's with like hookups and stuff like that well baby i'm a scorpio so like <laughs> me too oh, oh nice <laughs> so nice them nuggy them them nuggy Gay people don't take hand shit like that. They just sell all the stuff. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. The gay one will be him. Him, him. Because he doesn't sell all these stuff. He was like, he boyfriend. Oh no, my ex boyfriend. So he doesn't sell all these stuff already. Exactly. Yes. Exactly, exactly, exactly. When Matt dapped up Lucifer. That, that was, I was like, okay, that was a little, that was a little straight. That felt very hetero to me. Ew. Oh, and my other thing. If they're open to threesomes, because I mm. I want to do that. Hey, say it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking if you're out there and you're open to threesomes, the number is available. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better on paper. I'm not gonna. I just want to break the truth to you. Uh, really? <laughs> because it's just like it's just another person. It it just gets a lot. I don't it know. Is. I just feel like I, I right? completely agree. It's more of a novelty for sure. Is it yes, like a lot yes, of just sitting around, around or or <laughs> sitting around? <laughs> just one waiting. Person to When's the yeah, train yeah, guys? No, 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 it's like out. no, it's like two at a time. I mean, it's like great. Let's do a round of smash or pass. Michael B. Jordan. 
I'd smash the I'd then I'll get to say I could I would I would too. Michael B. Jordan and I am this year's sexiest man alive. I'd smash the I'd then I'll get to say I could I would I would too. The way you move is like you use a vacation. It's between him and Matt. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. Again? Oh, they bitches. They jealous. They see, they see, they see I'm totally star power. They just didn't want to share the money with me. I'm not someone that gets offended easily, but bitch, that offended me. I am offended. This is, this is the shit I'm talking about. This makes no damn sense. If he wasn't getting no, he gay. If you want to continue playing because you think that there's potentially still a liar among the four of you in the box, raise your hand on three, all right? One, two, three. Wait, raise your hand, just continue playing? Yes. Um, I'm not sure. So you four are confident that the mole is out, is that correct? I think so. I can unconfidently say. Yeah. yeah. It's like my besties right here. <laughs> so that means the game has ended. If the box turns green, you have correctly voted the mole out, and you four will share a cash prize. If the box turns red, that means the mole is still among you four, and they win the cash prize themselves. Are you guys ready? I, I knew I was unconfident. Don't I was surprised. unconfident. I said, what? I said, why would I act surprised? Wait, this is one of you are my best years. All right, so the mole has one. Okay, so it's, it's probably him. And on the count of three, it's him. It's him. I'm gonna have the mole step forward. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? We're all the most. Let's go. 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 I think there was Damn. a mix up, you guys. Look at us. We are besties Bro. after all. I was very We're confused. Oh, yeah. Like, you had me with the fit, Ricky. For real? Honestly, yeah. If not. If not, I must gay before the gay no. Took a step and I was like, are these people stupid? Like, why is everyone else stepping up? Like, I, I'm only straight. Do y'all are gay? Who's I thought gay? that everyone was was gay. And either of you ever been mistaken as gay or more feminine? Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 For a long time. Uh, I know. Every night I feel like I'm going to go out with my friends or whatever. I get hit on by more guys than girls sometimes. And yeah. it's, um, it's very common. Yeah. I got uh, mistaken for being gay. I could see that. A lot of the time, I even, I'll be honest, I went on dates with guys because so many people were suspecting me of. What? Oh, dude. <laughs> I've been training for this sh for a week. How did you train for it? Bro, I faced on all my gay homies. They were saying, like, I'm going to be a verse top because that's, like, the least sus, but it's also gay. Dude, I practiced <laughs> walking. I practiced my fits. I was doing, like, 360 Snapchat videos. Like, dang, do I look gay or not? Like, does my <laughs> ass pop? I work at Urban Outfitters. Shut up. I applied for this episode because, especially right now, with the whole red pill movement, Aiden Ross, Andrew Tate, the toxic male um, influences out there, that it's very important to show, like, other men, and especially younger men that are coming up into this world, that it is okay to be feminine. Is it okay, is it okay to express your emotions? Is it okay to be vulnerable? Accept everyone. I'm gonna stop it right here. Fellas, it is not okay to be feminine. I'm gonna tell you why. You are a grown-ass man. Grown ass man, you need to be a protector, you need to be a provider. There is no time or energy or space left in this world for you to be bitching and complaining. Your looks, sexuality, gender are just accept everyone. Yeah. Everyone's a little bit different. And facts, just accept people, accept it for what it is. Can't cut the ass. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. You're a grown ass man. Don't be mad if you're not as confident as the people who are. Like, not jumping to conclusions and not, like, stereotyping anyone, uh, letting them speak for themselves. Yeah.
I changed my locks into a dude as well, bro. This is my homie Nick. Bro. He's in the bed. I said, yo, send me a selfie with you with your nipple. He sent it. Yeah. Bro, I put a picture of mine like that too. This is my vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the game. I'm shut in. up, shut up. Yeah, you definitely in that game. Um, I let me know if I want to react to more. Um, yeah, it's really, but it's not easy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah.